right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well out there. My name is Polo. Today we are checking out a request from a Patreon supporter. This is Eminem Infinite. Okay, I haven't heard this track from Eminem, uh, so you guys will get to witness that firsthand. But before we get into it, if you rock with me, I need you to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Also, by liking the video, that supports the page, and I, and I truly appreciate it. Also, check out my Patreon below. There's content on my Patreon that's not on my page, and I respond to everyone that uh, is on my Patreon. If you have a suggestion, I definitely will take it into consideration if it's reaction friendly. Um, I think that covers everything. Um, yeah, like the video, check out the Patreon if you want to support the page. There's other links in the description as well to support the page. I appreciate everyone. All right, so let's get into Eminem Infinite. Let's go. Okay, it definitely, definitely feels 90s. Feels old. Just by the beat alone. It feels pretty old, which I'm not one of those people that think old music is whack. There's no such thing as uh, old music. Music is art. Baby. Oh yeah, now I know it's it's an older track. One time for your motherfucking mind. That's old school. Let me turn this up a little bit. We're gonna play that back. Hold on. I love this rhyme scheme he's using. I'm loving the aggression. This is definitely him proving himself on a song with his bars. He's just going at it the way he always does. I always think Eminem raps like he has a chip on his shoulder. My pen and paper cause a chain reaction to get your brain relaxing. A zaniac and maniac in action. A brainiac in fact, son. You may need that attraction. You look insane, whack with just a fraction of my tracks runs. My rhyming skills got you climbing hills. I travel through your mind until your spine like siren drills. I'm I want to say I've heard this track. I want to say I do, but like maybe two. So many years ago, it, I mean, but not to the point where I remember anything from it. It's definitely a new experience because, but you know, like when you be like, I think I might've heard this before long time ago. Not sure. Okay. I'll know by the end of the song, um, but I might have heard it once. Turn your system up, twist them up, and indulge in the marijuana smog. This is the season for noise pollution, contamination, examination, and more cartoons than animation. More cartoons than animation. And based off the production, this sounds like it was before he got signed by Aftermath. I'm just guessing. I didn't do any research on this track. But based off of the beat, based off of the... I would be willing to bet this was right when he got signed. Because if I heard this and I was a and I'm like, I'm signing this cat right away. If this was like the track. My lamination of narration. Hit the snare and bass and a track for duck rapper interrogation. He's just, he just relentless with the, with the bars. He's relentless. Twist them up and indulge in the marijuana smog. This is the season for noise pollution, contamination, examination of more cartoons than animation. My lamination of narration. Hit the snare and bass and a track for duck rapper interrogation. This is crazy. When I declare invasion, there ain't no time to be staring gazing. I turn the stage into a barren wasteland. I'm infinite. You heard the hell when I was sent from it. I went to it serving a sentence for murder and instruments. Now I'm trying to repent from it. But when I hear the beat, I'm tempted to make another attempt at it. I'm this track feels A Z ish, not Jay Z. A Z ish. It feels big L ish. Okay. Um, it's just giving me that old gritty lyrical vibe. Um, you know, from the nineties, it's just giving me that track. If you don't know A Z is look it up and then you'll see what I'm talking about. He was a wordsmith, not on this level, but definitely, um, in the lead. <laughs> But the rhyme scheme that he's using, 
also gives me a big, big L vibe. So I can beat the sense in your elite defense. I got some needs to meet some fruit is stomping into feet to rinse. I greet the tents and ladies, I spoil your loyal fans. I for your plans and leave fluids leaking like oil pans. My coil hands around this microphone are lethal. One thought in my cerebral is deeper than a jeep full of people. Play that shit again. Hold on. The tents and ladies. Hold on, you're why not here. This guy's gotta go again. I let the beat commit so I can beat the sense in your elite defense. I got some needs to mince, fruit is stomping into feet to rinse. I greet the tents and ladies, I spoil your loyal fans. I for your plans and leave fluids leaking like oil pans. And leave fluids leaking like oil pans. I'm loving the Detroit accent here. I call your hands around this microphone, a lethal. One thought in my cerebral is deeper than a jeep full of people. And sees a feeble. I came to cause some pandemonium. Battle of pandemonium sees a standalone one. <laughs> Yo, maybe I haven't heard this, man. This is a different M here, and that's one of the reasons why I love Eminem is because of the versatility. He's not he's not a one trick pony. You know what I mean? No matter what he does, he's gonna bar you. But he always pushes himself. And what he's spitting in this song is more fire than anything that's coming out today. I know we all went crazy about the cringe Kendrick Lamar release of the new single. And this is right there on the level of that. And I like this better because, um, how do I put it? I understand it better. You know, Kendrick is just too smart, <laughs> too smart for his own good. I'm like, man, what, what did he say? He be, you got to listen to his track about 20, 30 times sometimes because he'd be deciphering his bars. Or maybe I'm just not bright enough. But with Eminem, I get it. Imitator, intimidator, stimulator, simulator of data, eliminator. There's never been a greater since the burial of Jesus. Fuck around and catch all the venereal diseases. My thesis is smash stereo to pieces. My acapella releases classic masterpieces through telekinesis that eases you mentally, gently, sentimentally, instrumentally. We're entity, dementally, meant to be infinite. You heard the hell well, I, I love the way he dropped into the uh, chorus right there. Meant to be infinite. Mentally, gently, sentimentally, instrumentally, with entity, dementally, meant, meant to, to be, be infinite. infinite. Hey. Hey. Well, I was sent from it. I went to it, serving a sentence for murder and instruments. Now I'm trying to repent from it. But when I hear the beat, I'm tempted to make another attempt at it. I'm infinite. Just a simple gritty beat. The beat's not incredible. It's, it's just it's like this is a typical 90 beat that an MC would get on and just kill. You know, the the this is not a track where the beat shines. This is a track where the rapper shines, you know, and sometimes you have a track where the beat shines. Sometimes you have where they both are in holy matrimony. This is one where you you hear the beat, but you so focused on the lyrics, the beat don't really matter. <laughs> I'm never dense and I've been clever ever since My residence was hesitant to do some shit that represents the M.O. So I'm assuming all responsibility Cause there's a monster will in me that always wants to kill MCs There's a monster something in me that always wants to kill MCs I don't know what he said but I love it Hold on. And I've been clever ever since My residence was hesitant to do some shit that represents the M.O. So I'm assuming all responsibility Cause there's a monster will in me that always wants to kill MCs so, sounds like you said there's a monster will in me that wants to kill MCs. Smooth. That's why I said I'm not mad for people who have Eminem as their favorite rapper of all time. You know what I mean? As long as you listen to all hip hop and you're fans of the greats, then I'll respect your opinion and I'll say you're right. You know what I mean? But if somebody tells me that Andre 3000 is the GOAT, I'm not going to argue with that either. Somebody tells me that Tupac is a goat. I'm not going to argue with that. It's subjective to how you relate to the music. To me, these are all goats. You know, it's all subjective. If M Eminem is in that category, he's the only, um, well, I can't even say that anymore because Harry Mack, I haven't really dove into his Spotify catalog like that. So he has crept up into my top 20 rappers of all time. And I just learned about him a few months ago. And I didn't think that was possible because I'm an older person. It's, it's harder for older, person to, older people to adapt to things they grew up off of. 
and he just came through and blew my mind. There's a bunch of Harry Mack videos on my channel that I react to if you haven't seen him. Um, but yeah, he's moved up there too. But anyways, I'll say Eminem is the only white rapper that's in my top five. Okay, top five. And actually, he's number two. My number one is Jay. You know, I just love Jay's catalog better. I don't care that Eminem can rap better than Jay-Z. Okay, um, I'm just a fan of Eminem, I mean, of Jay-Z's. So many different things. Before I knew Eminem, I was already, he was already my favorite rapper. Uh, but in, re in regards to Eminem, number two, I don't, nobody's topping him. Okay, he's just a genius. Mike Nessler, slamming like a wrestler. Here to make a mess of a lyric smuggling and bezeler. No one is special. My skill is intergalactical. I get cynical act the fool, then I send it through back to school. I <laughs> Still is funny. Oh, this is, let's play this again. I know y'all tired of me rewinding the video, but I don't care. This is my first time. Here it is. I want to hear it again. MCs, Mike Nessler, slamming like a wrestler. Here to make a mess of a lyric smuggling and bezeler. No one is special. My skill is intergalactical. I get cynical, act the fool. Then I send the crew back to school. I <laughs> then I send the crew back to school. Damn. But back to tool, the rack to cool. It wasn't practical. I'd rather let a tactical 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 you fancy. In fact, I can't see or can't imagine. A man who ain't a love or a beat to a fan of scratching. So this, this is like AZ on steroids. If you go, if you look, go listen to AZ, uh, AZ album. And this is the style that AZ used most of his career. He didn't really switch it up. Eminem, he's just using this style for this particular song. You know, this song doesn't sound like Dan or any of the other tracks, but that's what some rappers, some rappers are, I don't want to be disrespectful to AZ, but AZ typically rhymes the same way. This is just for the day. Gives you a, uh, gives you an idea. You say, I'll use that style, run with it, and then switch to something different. This is for my family, the kid who had a cami on my last ten, plus the man who never had a plan B. Be all you can be. Oh, hold on. I missed that. I can't imagine a man who ain't a lover of beats of a fan of scratching. So this is for my family, the kid who had a cami on my last ten, plus the man who never had a plan B. Be all you can be. Cause once you make an instant hit, I'm tensed a bit and tempted when I see the sins my friends commit. I'm infinite. You heard the hell while I was sick from it. I went to it surfing a sentence for murder and instruments. Now I'm trying to repent from it. But when I hear the beat, I'm tempted to make another attempt at it. I'm infinite. You heard the hell while I was sick from it. I went to it surfing a sentence for murder and instruments. Yo, you can zone out to this track. This is definitely the type of track you can get on a bike, a treadmill on, or just zone out. This is definitely a headphone track when you're just in your zone doing whatever you want to do. It's definitely a confidence booster. I love this type of track. This is definitely a fire track from Eminem. Now I'm trying to repent from it. But when I hear the beat, I'm tempted to make another attempt to it. I'm infinite. 96. 96. What? what? I, I promise you I haven't seen this. I knew it. I could tell instantly. Man, I miss that era, man. But that's the beauty of the internet. You can relive it. And for some of you, you probably already heard this song before. For me, this is probably about to be one of 800 times I'm going to listen to this track. It goes into the playlist. Um, yeah, yeah, I love it. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.